Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Cody Brown, the family's unraveling began when he fell in love with Robin. Cody Brown is reflecting on the beginnings of his four polygamous marriages and has come to the conclusion that only one of them was based on love. In a November 26, Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one special, Cody Brown implied that this dynamic was the reason for his family's unraveling and the dissolution of three of his marriages. There is just one item that is to blame. You should start out in love if you're going to marry and you're going to stay married for eternity. He said to host Sukanya Krishnan, I believe that being indifferent to love was acceptable. I believe I could compensate for the shortfall. He claimed, I wasn't checking to see if the person I was marrying was compatible with me because I was so excited to be living the plural marriage principle. Originally, Cody Brown stated that rather than just being in love, he saw plural marriage as growing a family together. Before he met Robin Brown, his fourth wife, the father of 18, had three wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. At that moment, everything changed. I developed feelings for Robin. I never had love for anyone else. I was just making the decision to remain in that loving covenant with them, he murmured. When I first met Robin, I felt a comfort and vulnerability I had never known before, he remarked. And when I first saw her, I couldn't stop crying for months out of happiness. Robin Brown said she was surprised by her husband's remarks after giving them some thought. That was something I was unaware of until lately. I was unaware of it, and it continues to drive me to wonder if there has been a lot of history revisionism. The woman remarked, Given the circumstances, Robin claimed she did her best to not have it be something that was painful for the other women. I was hiding and suppressing my relationship with Cody in every interaction I had, the woman claimed. The origins of Janelle Brown's marriage, which was a big topic of discussion throughout season 18 of Sister Wives, were seen from a different angle. I was smitten with the notion of him. We had a genuine getting to know one another better after being married. We definitely grew closer as the years passed, and I believe I loved him to the best of my ability, she adds. Although the mother of six accepted that she and Cody Brown were young when they were married, she doesn't consider this to be a problem. I've seen many couples that navigate that, but somewhere along the line we failed to navigate that I think, she stated. Janelle Brown claimed that her husband was still happy with her, even after he made a comment about not being in love with her or his other wives. Maybe Robin is his great passion. I don't think we shared this great devotion. I'm not sure. However, we had excellent things, she remarked. In an interview, Mary Brown, whose breakup with Cody Brown was detailed in the Sister Wives season 18 final, also discussed the relationships inside the family. I am certain that he is content with Robin and that they share a soul connection. He brings it up frequently and I'm happy he has that with her. Everyone should have that in my opinion, she remarked. I think it's very unfortunate that the rest of the family had to go by the wayside to get that. Robin Brown says the kids of sister wives are dramatic. Was Robin Brown's dramatic behavior caused by the sister wives' kids? In some respects, it seems like she painted them as the villains. However, what precisely and how did Cody Brown's final surviving wife do? Continue reading for further information. Robin Brown says the children of sister wives are dramatic. It's no secret that Robin Brown has always been seen as theatrical. In every Sister Wives episode, she is constantly crying, although occasionally there aren't any tears. She has also been the most favored of the four wives, and as Cody Brown claims, the only one who has been faithful. Their multiple family has fallen apart as a result of his years of lavishing attention on her and their five children. Robin seemed to be pulling out some of her dramatic tendencies again, and she took advantage of the other brown kids. The entire scenario was discussed in a Reddit thread. Evidently, Robin discussed her and her daughter's health in their book, Becoming Sister Wives. As per the OP, she wrote this. However, because Brianna and I have low blood sugar, we must always have some emergency food on hand in case we encounter a blood sugar drop. The original poster then mentioned that they also have hypoglycemia, so they thought Robin was exaggerating a little bit when she mentioned survival. When Robin mentioned having emergency snacks on hand at her house, things became worse. 
She mentioned that she preferred the brown kids utilizing her freezer over going to the ice cream truck and that the brown kids would scavenge through her house for snacks. Lastly, it was mentioned that because Robin doesn't eat much, food stayed fresher longer in her house, which was advantageous for the kids. In a sense, Robin Brown's hardship turned into the benefit of the brown kids. Did other Redditors find her to be impolite and exaggerated? It appeared that Sister Wives viewers were so enraged by Robin Brown's behavior that they could not resist criticizing and mocking her. She doesn't eat much, nor do the girls. They're just really weak beans, you. Robin inherited her neuroticism from her mother and presented it as a medical condition for her child. She was then able to subtly criticize the children of the OG3 by twisting the subject. She truly is exceptional, don't you think? Jesus, the paragraph is like a bingo card full of slee jabs and b asterisk 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 asterisk. Her appetite seems to be fully returned if footage from the most recent seasons is any indicator. It was also mentioned that there was a message on the refrigerator stating that children needed to ask permission before eating snacks. Thus, things are a little unclear all around. While Sister Wives Season 18 is drawing to an end, Sukanya Krishnan, the host of the Tell All One-on-One -on -one episodes, is still hosting a number of segments. However, fans are criticizing the host for failing to hold Cody Brown responsible for his actions. Cody struggled with each of his wives during season 18 of Sister Wives. Cody was still married to Janelle Brown, Mary Brown, and Robin Brown at the start of Sister Wives season 17, despite Christine Brown leaving him at the end of the show. With Robin as his lone supporter, Cody's marriages fell apart due to problems with each of his spouses. While it was anticipated that Sukanya, often known as Suki, would address these and other matters on Sister Wives, one-on-one, -on -one, many were taken aback when she chose not to confront him about his actions. An Instagram remark on a sneak peek of the first Tell All episode, according to ET Online, implied that the presenter would let him get away with murder again. She'll just let him utter whatever nonsense he wants. Tell everything? Don't say anything. In response, Suki said, It is my sincere belief that you are being informed about more information than before. I make an effort to be impartial. In the first Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one episode, Cody did come clean about some of his transgressions, but he did it on his own terms. The disintegrating Brown family patriarch has been called out often, even by members of his own family, but he rarely discusses his more heinous deeds until he feels compelled to or may benefit from an apology. Cody claims he's grown and learned from his mistakes, but he still believes his method is the best, and he's never really strayed from it. It's never been easy to understand Cody, especially in the more recent Sister Wives seasons. Though his problematic behavior has been discussed widely in the media, his relationships with Christine, Janelle, and Miri have come under increased scrutiny in recent years. Even while viewers anticipate that Cody will be held responsible for his actions, this doesn't always happen on Sister Wives or in the Tell All episodes. Even though Cody is challenged to justify his behavior, he is always given the opportunity to respond or provide an explanation and is never chastised for his mistakes. The Tell All episodes still have three parts remaining to air, but if the first one is any guide, it looks like Cody will get away with it once more without having to explain for his conduct. Even though host Suki must treat everyone equally, it's noteworthy that she chooses to be less critical of Cody than she is of his wives. While the Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one episodes provide a new avenue for the cast to express complaints, it can be disheartening to watch someone like Cody continue to get away with so much harm without facing consequences.